Uh, it's 25 degrees this morning and it's supposed to be 50 tomorrow. I'm hoping it will be. I started a fire about an hour ago out in a little shop here. See what it's like out there to work. Yeah, it's not too bad in here. Yeah, it's still only about 45. I think we can throw another log on and get better than that. Well, there's a motor off of my uh, bucket generator. Uh, it's got a half inch shaft and uh, a long time ago I saw a video from Green Power Science using a air conditioner squirrel cage fan and after I saw that, it, it's been a few years ago, I bought a whole bunch of fans and I think I'm got an idea for this motor. Uh, come out some old scrap iron pile here and uh, I bought several of these I bought uh, about four of them as a matter of fact a couple years ago at the uh, consignment auction and um, I think I'm going to take this one here since it's the easiest to get to and uh, they have a huge pulley on them, so I'm not sure if I'm going to want to use that once I get the uh, get it freed up, get it out where the wind will hit it, and uh, see what it'll do as far as spinning, and uh, see how I can hook it up for that wind generator maybe. Well, after looking at this thing, I, I was going to take and try to cut these uh, veins out of here and pull the whole insides out of this casing casing and uh, you get then I'd have to get new bearings and everything and make a whole new shaft but I got to thinking I might just take this cut this uh, outside shell that that runs all the way around cut that off mount this to a to uh, frame to something and even see if it'll turn in the wind before I do anything else. I uh, sprayed some WD-40 down the bearings that are on here and I'll see uh, see what happens once I get this freed up. I'll put some 3-in-1 oil in them bearings and uh, stick it in the wind and see what happens. Well, that wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was cutting out with a saber saw. Except now I've got to uh, cut that edge off and uh, get her cleaned up, oiled up, and mount it, see if she'll spin. Well, I got this thing so it'll spin really good. Uh, the only trouble is, is what I was afraid of, it's, it's kind of wobbly. And I'm going to end up having to redo the bearings anyway. So I'm thinking that I might just take that pulley off of there pull this all apart and see if it'll fit right on my DC motor that shaft and uh, couple it right to it and see what it does well I think this is going to be a fail on this job but uh, I'm going to try to get that off there yet and see what happens well I'm not sure when I'll get this video posted if I ever will I. Uh, I don't know if it's a fail yet or not. That baby will spin good. Uh, I haven't had it spinning in the wind yet, but my bearings are shot. I've left this set out way too long. So anyway, I had a pull. There was a pulley on there, and I was hoping to save it, but it broke what I was getting it off. I think what I'll do is clean this all up, get that locking collar off there, and see if I can connect that three-quarter shaft to my half-inch straight to the DC motor I have and stick it up in the air and see if it'll spin and we'll go from there. I'll post more as we get it.